sweetheart, it's beautiful. You like it? And I promise I'll never look at another girl. I know that you won't. <laughs> Oh, driver, will you let us know when we reach the Roosevelt, please? Why, we've been standing in front of it for an hour and a half. What? Yeah. Why, how time flies. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. $20.55. Darling, they're playing your favorite song. You mean our favorite song? Oh! There's my ring. Er, I mean my coat. Pardon me, I'll be out in a minute. Right. There you are. Waiter. Waiter. Here's your ten dollar bill, please. Yes, madam. There you are. Thank you. Where is he? Oh, the telephone. Oh, <laughs> over here. Thank you. Have you a nickel, please? Oh, yes, ma'am. There you are. Is this local phone? Yes, it is. Fine. The girl just took me for a waiter, dear. It looks like she took you for something. <laughs> no, honey, all I did is give her a change for a $10 bill. That's a new one. Oh, honey, I don't even know her. Unless I'm seeing things. There's that girl you want to marry with a young Abby in a Jimmy Daly game. Well, Aunt Agnes, what of it? She hasn't married him yet. I wish you'd get busy with this nice life is Excuse. Thank you. I beg your pardon. Stupid waiter. This is a nice start. Well, here's Jimmy Dale, that popular young aviator. And the same charming young lady with him. The same? The same. You boys work well together. Nice crowd here this evening, dear. You are. So I see. Oh, now don't be like that. We have with us this evening a young man who deserves a lot of credit. Last Sunday at Minefield, he established a new record for gliders. Jimmy Dale. Take a bow, Jimmy. Give the boy a hand, boy. Looks like Colonel Lindbergh won't be the only one to teach his bride to fly. <laughs> You're going over big. You think so? I'm sure of it. <laughs> yes, mademoiselle. My apologies to Mr. Dale. And he glides beautifully. I beg your pardon? And he glides beautifully. Yes, ma'am. The lady over there likes you very much. It's beautiful. What? She, uh, you glitter. What are you talking about? The lady over there likes you very much and you glitter beautifully. Oh. <laughs> the lady over there likes my glittering, dear. She doesn't have to send a waiter to tell that. Oh, no, no. As far as I'm concerned, your glitter is wearing off. Well, honey, are you going to be suspicious? Don't you believe anything? I believe we're going to have a pleasant evening. All right, let's. I think I'll have to take up gliding. You better stick this up a little, a little lady. Auntie, repeat after me. She sells seashells by the seashore. Sure, she sells. Not a bit like it. She sells shore shields by the shell ship. She? Waiter. Yes, sir? No more seltzer. What are you going to put in the high board? Will you mind your own business? It is my business. Auntie, you'll excuse me? I'm going over and say hello to Margie. Give her Aunt Agnes's regards. 
Hello, Marjorie. Hello, George. You're looking more charming than ever. Thank you. Oh. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, George. Oh, I beg your pardon. Is this the same old quarrel or a new one? Quarrel? <laughs> Why, everything's lovely, isn't it, Marge? Yes. Oh, say, George, when are we going up to your New Zealand? I'm throwing a party tomorrow. If you two are getting along lovely, come over. We'd like to. And Aunt Agnes is going to be the chaperone, and I'd like to see anybody try to get rough. Auntie, Auntie, please. Toodle. Blue. Sounds like a nice party. Uh, I've arranged a little trip to Havana. Oh, that will be a treat. It wouldn't be much of a party without you. Oh, George. You're my little sweetie sugar plum. Poof, poof, be doop. Poof, poof, be doop. You're my little sweetie yum, yum, yum. Poof, poof, be doop. Poof, poof, be doop. tell you a bedtime story. There were two traveling salesmen. There was one traveling salesman. Auntie. She sells seashells by the seashore. See? Good night, lads and little lassies. Aunt Agnes signing off. <laughs> Peter. Peter Piper. Piper pickled Peter the chop suey was swell. Piper pickled Peter. So Aunt Agnes is the chaperone. Who chaperone Aunt Agnes? She's a dear, and I think it was sweet of George to invite us. We're not going in a Zeppelin. Don't act like a husband. We're not m -m 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 married yet, you know. Would you like to look at the menu? Honey, let me order you something. You'll feel better. Y y you can order me a taxi. Medium or well done? Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm going home. Now, don't make a scene here. I won't. I'll go quietly. Honey, you'll embarrass me before all these people. Let go of my skirt. Marge. Will you please let go of my skirt? Will you sit down? You've been picking on me all evening. Well, I won't pick on you any longer. There's your ring. But, will you sit down? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, dear. No, you don't want to sorry me. Told me to I can't help what he It's all right. Thank you, Oh, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Let me help you. Interesting, madam.
That was a good shot. Use this one here. Jimmy didn't come. Oh, it's just as well. I'll show him he doesn't own me. Why don't you two have uh, one good quarrel and call it a day? What's the use? He always comes around the next night anyway. I thought you said Jimmy wasn't coming. What? Here he is. I thought he'd come to his senses. You didn't bring a trunk, did you? No. <laughs> oh. Why, what's the matter, Margie? Oh, why, that, that, that's the woman he flirted with in the cafe last night. Oh, Nina Mendoza. She, she's looking for a waiter. Well, she can take him and keep him and see if I care. Now, don't be too hasty. Maybe he can explain. Well, if he can, I'll still believe in Santa Claus. Hello, Marge. Hello. Oh, honey, please forgive me for what happened last night. Last night? What about today? Today? Yes, just now, that woman. Oh, now, all I did was come up to the driver, and this taxi drove up, and the lady got out. The lady. A lady got out of the taxi, and the driver asked me to, to, um. I suppose you're going to tell me you were changing another $10 bill. <laughs> Strange as it may sound, that's exactly what I did. <gasps> Bug house fable. Darn it. I know it sounds funny, but it's true. Oh, Jimmy. Marge. Take your hand off my skirt. How do I know you weren't dancing with her at Riverside? Where? Oh, you know, the night you broke a date and said you were stuck there. Oh, honey, how could I? She just got in from the Argentine yesterday. Yesterday? Well, certainly. Ask George. He'll tell you. Does George know? Well, he should. She's his guest. Well, I don't know. There's been so many funny things happening around here lately. Oh, well, George can explain that. Jimmy, I don't like to quarrel any more than you do with that woman. No. Honey, there is no other woman. <laughs> oh! I'm a boogeyman. Oh. Don't be afraid. It's only oh. Aunt Agnes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh -oh. look at that hole. Uh -oh. They're brand new stockings. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. There they are. <laughs> How's that? My dear, what the deuce are we fussing about? Well... Well, you know that I love you. And I think you love me. Oh, hmm? goody, 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 goody. Let's all kiss her makeup, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and you're not going on that Zeppelin trip? Not if you don't want me to. Oh, you might as well go up link. You're up in the air anyhow. <laughs> <laughs>
Looking into your future? Oh, no, not exactly. <laughs> I picked that up in India. Do you ever see anything in it? Oh, sometimes. Why, look, I can see you. Now stand back, it must be your reflection. Why, you're still there. Well, this can't be you. Why, this girl has a hole in her stocking. I've got a hole in my stocking. That's funny. Why, it's weird. Look, I see something else. It's hazy. I can't make it out. It looks like a cafe. It begins with R. River. River view. River something. No, no, not, not, not Riverside. That's it. Riverside Cafe. And look, there's Jimmy. And he's kissing you. And you're all cuddled up in your ermine coat, your white ermine coat. Oh, I've never been to Riverside in my life, and I, I haven't got a white ermine coat. Well, this is an ermine coat. Well, that's a lot of rock. Say, George, uh, how long has Miss Mendoza been here from, from the Argentine? Oh, two or three weeks. What? Two or three weeks. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Aunt Agnes would have broken it eventually. We'll have to hurry. We're boarding in a few minutes. I have to radio some orders. Will you excuse me? Well, Riverside Cafe. Oh. Tell the captain to stand by and keep in communication. We're boarding immediately. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, you are, honey. Oh. Oh. Well, what's the matter now? Uh, that's the girl in the airman go to Riverside. George, George, wait for me. There's your thing. I'm going to Havana. Oh, you could go to Havana. Sorry you're not coming, Jimmy. Double-crossing chiseler. Cheerio. Sorry, Margie. Oh, well, show him he can't break my heart! Oh. Oh. oh, honey, did I kick you? Oh, what do you think? Oh. I'd like to see. Will you marry me? Oh, well, George, I, I don't know what to say. You've been awfully sweet to me. Ah, oh, go ahead and marry him, Marge. I'm tired of being a chaperone, and I'll be the first to kiss the groom. Auntie. What was that? You look out, or you'll be the first to kiss terra firma. Wiggins, put a parachute on our name. Well, if that one don't work, can I have another one? If that one don't work, you won't need it. <laughs> Come on, Margie. And we'll have the first Zeppelin honeymoon. Well, let's, let's see back when we get to Havana. Let's do it right now. The captain can perform the ceremony. Captain. Yes, sir. Is it legal to perform a marriage ceremony here? Yes. It is? Very good. Will you get the book, please? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Come on, Margie. What do you say? Oh, well, George, give me a minute or two to think. All right, dear. That's splendid. 
Gee, can you get them back again? There's interference there. Wait what a minute. Dr. Rimkus will now give you the fourth of a series of little talks on bird life. Coming to you through the courtesy of the National... Try and get them again, will you? Protective Association. Transmitter. Every Thursday at this time, we give these little talks of our feathered friends. I know what you can do. So Call up Marine Airways and have them warm up a plane for me. Will right. you? Yes, sir. Tonight, we are going to tell you about the little...
Say, just when did you get in from the Argentine? Why, the day before yesterday. The day before you get to the sea, yeah? Oh, Jimmy. Now, is that going to stay on or not? Yes. Turn the ship around and take us back. We're going to Havana, but you can get off if you wish. We wish. Thank you. Come on, Marge. You can't call a taxi from here. We'll make it. Oh, well, if that one don't work, you can have another one. Oh, Jimmy, it's a long way down. Don't let that worry you, honey. You're a fool if you go with him. You're a fool if you don't. Oh, come on, Jimmy, let's go. Well, we'll be seeing you. Honey, are we going to go all over that again? Goodbye! Goodbye. He deserves it. Drop in again sometime. Whee! Oh! Blanky! Say, how do you open these darn things? Move the change. The what? 